Welcome to Drawfee, where we take dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. <gasps> I'm Nathan. I'm Tristan. <laughs> Sorry. I'm Jacob. Sorry. <clears throat> I'm Julia. It, um, Tristan, it sounded like there was someone else there with you. Uh, uh, no, I, I don't know. It is I. <laughs> I have awoken. Oh I'm in sleep once again. <laughs> It's been so Sorry long. Sorry to it's... new subscribers who don't know what's happening. <laughs> I feel like there's at least one sorry to new subscribers that don't know what's happening per episode. Yeah. So... Is it the, it's the lore library and the yeah. classic Drawfee character <laughs> who's not correct. Tristan. <laughs> Trademarks have changed hands, but I remain. <laughs> Well, Lore Librarian, it's great to have you back uh, from your Odin sleep. I have always been. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've always been excited to know what we're drawing on an episode. Good segue. <laughs> <laughs> we've done a lot of mythology and folklore. Uh, we've mm-hmm. done Greek mythology in the past. We've done a little bit of Norse mythology by way of Marvel gods and goddesses. A lot of those are, are Norse-based. But mm-hmm. I really wanted to do regular Norse mythology challenge. So we'll have some gods, maybe some god adjacent characters that I will a describe. A demigod, perhaps? Who knows? Who knows? Well, there's some <laughs> weird ones here. It's uh, it gets weird. Yeah, let's get weird. <laughs> so I'll do, I'll challenge you to draw them with a description uh, of everything but their physical characteristics, and then you will we'll see we'll see what it looks like and we'll basically compare it to like old timey uh drawings of them which is pretty fun love it there's not photos of these gods available there's, for there's us to not look at. Uh, no polaroids we don't have of these guys okay <laughs> Nathan. yes <laughs> oh i Your missed trial that sound. the first mhm scotty <laughs> goddess of snowshoes and skis <laughs> What? Sort of a, a god of gear? Is this a gear god? Well, okay. For winter gear? <clears throat> well, the winter gear, kind of. Uh, Scotty is also associated with bow hunting, winter, and mountains. Oh, yeah. This is a gear god. This is like outdoorsy, <laughs> like, geared up. Yeah. When mm-hmm. you do the biathlon in the Olympics, the one that involves skiing and gun, this oh, is the god really that true. you want. Exactly. Yeah, definitely. You want to pay tribute to Scotty. Um, she, Scotty. She, so she's, uh, I, I will preface this right now by a, uh, mm-hmm. I will mispronounce every, every word, uh, that I say from the, for the next 23 minutes. And then, <laughs> uh, B, um, Norse myth has a lot of, um, kind of conflicting, uh, stories, a lot of, uh, you know, conflicting information. Some, some say this person did that, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so we're just going to go with what I feel like, which is what everyone in the history of time has done when it comes to mythology. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. So Scotty is a, uh, Jotun from Jotunheim. Love Jotunheim. That's a, that's a frost giant. Right? Yes. You have a good time in Jotunheim. <laughs> with Yo- Scotty. Scotty. <laughs> you can't spell Jotunheim without yo. <laughs> you can actually it's, it starts with a j but you, you get what I mean. yeah scotty has like a really interesting and weird um backstory basically mm-hmm. long story short there was some loki business her dad was killed by the asgard gods she gets scotty gets mad goes over there she's gonna fucking murder everyone fair and they're like no 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 <laughs> um actually we're, we'll make a deal with you First, we're going to take your dad's eyes and we're going to make them stars in the sky. And she's like, okay, yeah, what else? <laughs> <laughs> Always the important first first part of a deal. Okay, yeah. great. We're starting off really strong yeah. here. Of actually. course, we're going to do eyes as stars in the sky. We're going to get yeah, that one out. Obviously. That was always on the table. That's, that's a given. It's a given. Um, the second part is that Loki makes her laugh. And he does so by, and I found this in multiple sources, he... Um, ties rope around his scrotum <laughs> and then he ties the other end to a bull and he plays tug of war with the bull oh that's a classic bit it's a classic jackass bit steve-o is actually loki <laughs> in olden times what a move that's really good 
I'm not going to draw that, but that's really good. <laughs> but like you can tell in the picture that Scotty's thinking about it that, right yeah, now. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's doing a little giggle about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, nice. Logan's yeah. bull. <laughs> Classic. Um, and so the, the last one was that the Asgard gods offered her to marry one of their own so she becomes a god in the pantheon, basically, by association. And But the catch is... She gets to pick like basically any el- eligible bachelor in Asgard, but Sounds everyone's like covered. Catch. Everyone's covered from covered from head to ankle, so she can only judge by their feet. So oh, wow. <laughs> this is the origin of feet pegs. That's um, I mean, that sounds <laughs> honestly, that sounds like a dating show. It, it is does. kind of uh, feet of love or something. Yeah. Soulmates. Okay. Oh, there hey. you go. Wow. Hey. There you go. Okay. Are you sure your soulmate is the right fit? Ooh. Ooh, oh yeah. Ooh, Netflix. <laughs> okay. Netflix. Get at us. Yeah, are there any other uh, zingers? Get tied up in knots. Mm-hmm. What does that have to do with feet? <laughs> uh, shoes, laces. Shoes. Yeah. Oh, you gotta tie okay, shoe yeah. Laces. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Shoes, laces. It was a bit of a stretch, I'll give you um, that. So I've heard of getting a dozen roses, but never a dozen toeses. Hey! There we go. <laughs> That's all really good. I wish you all could see how hard I'm like rubbing my face into my own face right now. <laughs> Tristan um, regrets coming back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So we're at the feet competition, basically. Yeah. The, the feet off, as it were. And so she's looking at these lines and lines of feet. And her, her goal, she really wants to, to, to nail down Balder who is um, Thor's brother. And she's like, well, he's obviously the prettiest. I need I need Balder. He's the best. And so she's looking for the prettiest toes and prettiest feetsies uh, in all of Asgard. And she picks she picks one, but she ends up picking um, uh, the god of the sea, uh, Njoror. I'm, I'm definitely saying that wrong. Um, and then they divorce in like two weeks. Because oh, they, wow. they can't stand each other. She's basically got a winter. She's got a the ocean. It's not it's not really compatible uh, too much. But uh, damn, do we got nice feet? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, the feet the feet were great. Don't get me wrong. But uh, everything after that but that can only last for so long. You know, you can't you can't uh, base uh, relationships based on attraction of feet alone. Okay, wait. I got one more. Okay. Yeah. This piggy went to market, but this piggy went to. Love. <laughs> I'm glad you. I got I'm glad it. You, I'm glad you got it. that one. Julie. Yeah, yeah. We got it. Uh huh. Uh huh. You could have said like this piggy went to the courthouse to get married, or this piggy went to the chapel. That's too wordy. Love. Love. This little piggy got a divorce lawyer and uh, <laughs> got half of everything. <laughs> half of the ocean. Mm hmm. Half of the winter. Mm-hmm. There you go. So is, is Scotty like canonically single? Well, like technically, like in some in some mythology, she goes back and marries Odin, which is oh, really dang. yeah, all the way to the top. Wow, honestly, yeah. Honestly, kind of gross. Like he's pretty old. He's probably like hundreds of years or thousands of years older than her. What's a few thousand years between gods? You know, mm. uh, that's a great question because I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty is, I think, a playable character in Smite. Oh, the, good. The I'm MOBA. Sure. She's a little doggy that is non canonical. Okay, I got another one. Okay. <clears throat> you could say Scotty got smitten with love. You no. Could, could you, you could say, say that? Could you, you could say, say that? that. You, you I still haven't smite seen it proven that you can smite, say that. Smiten? Yeah, no, you can say it. Scotty got smitten with love. Them smitten words. Them smitten words, Julia. <laughs> I agree with Nathan here. <laughs> Nathan, I hate to tell you this, but this is just like a, a woman going hiking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gods, they're just like us. <laughs> they're exactly like us. I mean, this is this is how she's introduced in the new uh, in the new Thor movie. Thor's, oh, Thor's hitting the, the slopes and then mm-hmm. Scotty shows up and she's just like, she's just giggling because she's thinking about uh, Loki's testicles. Mm-hmm. But yeah, mm-hmm. she comes down the mountain and like hits a ramp and does like a 360 Mick aerial grab and Thor's like, whoa. <laughs> 360 Mick aerial. <laughs> yeah. 
if I had thought, uh, you know, planned this out more, maybe I would have drawn her doing like a cool ski trick, but mm-hmm. I didn't. Or so. any sort of like magic at all that uh, sort of implies that she's a giant or a god or. Well, here I can make her. She's a giant. Yeah, let's put some little houses or something. I feel like in the Thor in the Thor movie, uh, it would definitely do the thing where like. <laughs> She's got the the mask on and she does a sick trick and, and Thor's like, who's that guy shredding the slopes? Mm-hmm. And then she pulls off the ski mask and shakes out the hair and it's like, but woman? I am no guy. <laughs> this movie's called Thor Thighs 1987. Parentheses. What are you talking about? Thor, she's in a Thor movie and he's got sore thighs because he's been skiing. So Thor thighs, and it, it all feels like That's an 80s joke. That's the worst joke. joke you've ever made. <laughs> I feel like every time Julia says something, I'm dissociating like more and more <laughs> from reality. Yeah, I don't... Quarantine has changed me, Tristan. <laughs> it's changed us all. Julia's telling jokes from like another plane of existence <laughs> where any of this makes sense. And like on that plane of existence, it's killing. <laughs> Thor thighs. I thought it was good. Why I've did, been sitting on that one. Why'd you say 1987 in it? Because I, I said it sounds like an 80s plot. It's like 80s movie plot. <laughs> Is that like a reference to, to Wonder Woman 1984? <laughs> no, I was thinking no. of... No, okay. I was, gonna, I was trying to give you an out. No, I was thinking of the movie Better Off Dead where his big rival... It's an 80s movie. His big rival is the captain of the ski team. And it culminates into a big skiing competition at the end. And then he gets chased by a newspaper man, newspaper boy who demands his $2. Right. Julia, this is all nothing. (sighs) None of this is anything. I'm having a great time. Cut this. No, it's David. David, No, it's staying. It's people need to know the things you do. People need to know what happened here. The people will appreciate my jokes. This needs to be recorded. They probably will. They'll be like, I love Julia's joke. And I'm like, you're lying to yourself and to Julia. (laughs) Wow. And to Tristan. I can't wait to get the phone call from Nathan's mom complaining about (laughs) you being mean to me again. (laughs) She just calls you directly now. She doesn't (laughs) even... She doesn't even need to tell me. But then she'll call me afterwards and be like, it was a pretty bad joke, though. But don't, listen. (laughs) Just because it's a bad joke doesn't mean you should... You shouldn't be the one to tell her that. It's your job to be supportive. It's true. I'm supporting her by being honest about the quality. I'm done with this drawing. <laughs> <laughs> I've been done with this drawing. Great. Well, rolls- maybe we should um, look up uh, some. Let's look. Let's look her up. Oh yeah, she's like uh, uh, oh, she's you know cool. nothing, Jon Snow. Yeah, oh. she's a little bit like a little bit of Ygritte. She's she's kind of a Ygritte looking. I, I modernized her up a little bit, and I think that's I think that's good. <laughs> Any of them that you you see with her with a dog is probably a fan art or official art of Smite. I see. I see a lot of dog art. Oh yeah, you did. You said archery too, and I just ignored that. Mm-hmm. Um, mostly <laughs> mostly holding a bow. That uh-huh. seems she, much more into bow than skiing. Mm-hmm. It looks like. Yeah. Can I do one? Yeah. Okay, Tristan, I'm ready. Excuse me? Oh, I'm Who sorry. Who are you referring to? Um, lore Librarian, Mr. Yes. Dr. Doctor, Doctor lore Librarian. Oh, I'm right. Ready. Okay, yes. Uh, your trial? A uh, Nobla, the cosmic cow. Mm. Cosmic cow. Jacob's Co- great at drawing cows. Cosmic, you said cosmic cow? Cosmic cow. I don't, I'm not good at drawing cows. <laughs> What about a, a cosmic cow? A cosmic cow maybe will be different. I feel like you'd be really good at drawing a cow because they're just a series of bean shapes. Yeah, I am starting with a bean for yeah, sure. Yeah, that's the, that's the Chicago bean. Mm-hmm, yep. <laughs> it's, um, well, just imagine like a horse, which are really easy to draw, and then mm. just beef it up a little bit, you know, add some beef. You in haven't there. seen, Tris, you haven't been here for a while, but uh-huh. my horse track record uh-huh. presently is not my highest what? scoring. I've always heard horses are the easiest to draw on Trophy. A horse kind of sounds like Norse. Mm hmm. Of course. Of course. We did this joke before uh, the, uh, 
we we actually started recording and it was really good then and we just yeah. don't have it anymore. It didn't it didn't hit as hard the second time yeah, no. with us, but mm-hmm. maybe uh the people listening they're probably in stitches. Jacob, this is a filthy shape you've drawn. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's a it's going to be a cow. It's going to be a cow shape. It's the little this nose. Is a, this is a piggy. This is one of those cute little piggies in Wind Waker. This little piggy went to uh went to love. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> uh, I remember that. This little piggy had a, a doomla, which was the cow that this thing should be right now. A doomla? A, I'm going to say it right. It's A U D M U. It's got A U, the word dumb, and then L A at the end. Jacob, this is. You drew a fall, guys. Udhumla, maybe? I don't know. Tell me about this cow. Okay, okay. This this cow was a, was a present at the beginning of creation, and uh, <laughs> yeah, there was the the first uh, being was was uh, the first humanoid looking god thing came into existence. Uh, Umir uh, came together when when the fires of Muspelheim and the uh, kind of ice of uh, of Niflheim came together, I think, and he formed. And he was like, I need something to eat. Um, so he drank this cow's milk, which came flowing flowing uh, out of it like rivers, four wow. rivers out of its udders. Wow, rivers. Rivers of milk. And um, this this cow, I don't know if the cow was there before uh, Umir or not. It's a big question mark as to whether this cow is the first living thing in all existence in Norse mythology. In the beginning, there was the word. And the mm-hmm. word was with moo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nathan, good job. Man, this cow was just trying to live. Mm-hmm. And then someone came up and was like, yo, help me make uh, a lot of things. And the cow was just like, God, everything's just going to get really complicated now, isn't it? It's like, yeah, I was just doing my space <sighs> thing. The cow is also responsible for like the Asgard pantheon of gods as well. Because it's like... It's like licking like salt and ice and stuff and licking for days and days and all of a sudden all it's licking frees out the uh, the god Buri or Buri who's like Odin's grandfather basically. So he, he this cow licked a god out of the snow while also uh four rivers of milk come pouring out of itself at any moment. This cow just stumble assed into yeah. making everything. It seems like this cow had no idea what it was doing. It was just licking and making milk. Yeah, it was just doing cow stuff. If that's not a perfect metaphor for the randomness of the universe, mm-hmm. I don't know what is. You know, I think we're all just uh, a lot of cows with four udders spewing milk uh, at all times while we lick wait, people. Wait. What? Four four separate udders or just like four, four teats. udder I'm sorry. teats? I'm sorry. Okay. God, thank God. <laughs> Jacob is gonna have Thank to find cow. room for all those udders. There's four. There's four udders with one huge teat each. No, <laughs> that's not true. No, there's not. Yeah, you lied. <laughs> <laughs> you just didn't want it to be true. <laughs> it doesn't have to be true. This cow is vibing though. Well, I imagine it's just like floating through space, yeah, squirting it's... out milk rivers and making galaxies without even realizing it. Mm-hmm. Just going around licking stuff. <laughs> you know, this is all coming out and going just out, yeah. making, doing all sorts of this. Cow doesn't even know. <laughs> you don't think so? No way. <laughs> this, cow, this cow's third eye is open. This looks like something you would see painted on the side of a van. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yes, yeah, this cow's tripping a little bit. You just got to open yourself to the universe, man. The great cow of the universe. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Oh. oh, it's got like a Saturn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Named after a Roman god. This is how you realize for the first time just how big this cow is. I see. See, I drew I drew a little man standing next to mine to indicate size, but you just made this cow a whole ass planet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and this is like a whole ring of like asteroids and stuff, and you know those are big, so yeah, the cow's even bigger than than that. Think even about it. let that sink bigger in. than that. That's so much milk. Well, how does the the cow lick the the salt and and ice and produce a god? Where, where is that? Big tongue. 
Big tongue. Big tongue. Uh, I was so foolish. How, yeah. How can I know? Big tongue can reach all the way up any, anywhere, any which way. I apologize if you guys can hear the beeping. Okay, that's where that's coming from. Yeah, that's coming beeping. from us. Uh, there's there's construction outside. And a truck is just in motion, so of course it just has to beep the entire time. Yeah. I mean, that's the sound the cow makes <laughs> when it's, when <laughs> it's backing, backing up. up. So are are you saving the fourth utter uh, streaming milk for for Umir or? Here. Do well, you want me to put the fourth utter in? Yeah. <laughs> Is that what you want? I want Umir to be taking a, a swig. Umir's off off camera, swigging <laughs> swigging down this good stuff. <laughs> and then this is it's just going to be like you know space. Uh huh. Jacob, final this frontier. is so cool. <laughs> I love I love the composition. It's got like Gigantamax Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> feel to it. For sure. So it's definitely something I, w- I would doodle in science class instead of like paying attention to like cell mitosis or whatever. Yeah, and why do you think you would doodle it? Because it's true. Mm. Yeah. And instinctively, we all know that. Mm-hmm. This is a true drawing. Yeah, this is a true drawing. <laughs> these <laughs> these shapes, it's just such, I just want to reach out and, and pet this cosmic cow. Mm-hmm. You couldn't, it's too big. I know. But you could sup upon its milk. Yeah, you could definitely sup on its milk if you want to do that. All right, well, maybe I will. <laughs> I think I'm done. Perfect. Let's look up the cow. I found an incredible, oh my God. We're, it's like, we're talking about something that's painted on the side of a van. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this has got it all. <laughs> wow. The cow's licking the ice, and this big space face is, is slurping out the milk. <laughs> The, the space face doesn't look happy about it. <laughs> it looks like um, like Marlon Brando or something, like old yeah. Marlon Brando, just like. <laughs> yeah, it's very resigned to like what it is doing. <laughs> Time for my evening sup of the milk. <laughs> and its mouth is the milky, the milky oh, way. The milky way. It Holy all comes shit. together. Wow. This is deep. This picture means something. We're we're doing a lot. <laughs> we're, we're, we went from uh, human woman with skis to space cow. <laughs> yeah, space cow with rivers and rivers of milk. Man, mythology is great. You yeah. can just you can put whatever you want in there. Yeah, there's no rules. Uh, Mr. Doctor Lore Librarian. Yes, I have all degrees. <laughs> PhD. PhD. MD. Uh, that's it. That's MBA? It. <laughs> nope. No. no. <laughs> Did not go to business school. Come on. <laughs> what do I look like? What do you look like? Great question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another time. <laughs> Is that what I'm drawing? No, you are drawing. Come out here, the saliva poet. <laughs> <laughs> the saliva poet. Uh, kind of a little, a little editorializing there. I, I just wanted to make it punchier, but it is accurate. Kavasir is uh, a man made of god spit. Mm. Basically, what happened was the uh, Aesir, which are like the uh, kind of like war-like gods for like Thor, Odin, etc. It's that computer brand. Yeah, exactly. Aesir. Yes, Aesir. <laughs> the Aesir. <laughs> They they were at war with AMG. Um, no, uh, they they were at war with the Vanir, who were like kind of like more peaceful. They a lot of nature, etc. Uh, and so when they settled their hash, they all got together and chewed some berries, and then they all collectively spat into a magic cauldron. Julia, you said when I did my shape that it was nasty. Mm-hmm. I didn't say anything. Which way is which? No, I, I said you had drawn a, a bit of a nasty shape. It was this it was shape. when you drew the the little nubbin for the, uh, for the nose and nothing else. Well, what do you say about this shape? This is... Um, because this could almost be a Garfield. I'm looking up at the top. <laughs> <laughs> like a very melty Garfield. Yeah. Like th- this is, th- there's not enough of a form yet to to discern. Um, Degree of nastiness. Nastiness. I think I could, the just the top bit alone is no, nasty. It's like a melting candle. 
You know what's nasty? Your brain, Jacob. No. Whoa. Come on. Don't say that. You don't mean that. Wow. Got him. <laughs> okay. So Kvasir is born out of a bunch of saliva from a bunch of gods who all masticated into this uh, cauldron. It's uh, he when he is he comes out. Kavasir is a is a man, but he's like the smartest man uh, in all the realms. He any human can walk up to him and and like he's like ye old like ask Jeeves, and they just ask <laughs> him a question. He can just answer it instantly. Wow, he's a real smarty pants. Wow, I love these beautiful <laughs> eyes. Yeah, on so this deep, m- melty, so knowing, sl- slime slime friend. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love the little uh, like mouth mm. dimple. Like, mm. Mm. yes, I know. This looks. I like, know the um, answer. So far, I'm getting the vibe of like this is the one non-human romance option in a visual novel. <laughs> <laughs> Still have to have. And you see him, and you're face. like, I don't, I don't want to romance. Oh, you know what? I think I do. Maybe I, I think do. I do. It's the sensitive type. Once you get to know him, yeah. So. Uh, Kavasir doesn't exactly have like a happy ending per se uh, because some dwarves uh, were not thrilled that he was a smarty pants. They tricked him and they killed him. No. And they drained his blood and they poured it in the magic cauldron and the, the, the outcome was the mead of poetry. Uh, and, so they uh, drank it? If you have anyone has, has read the the... Neil Gaiman Norse mythology book. The story's kind of in there. Some of the some of the stuff is also in there, but um, basically, if you drink it, you become like enlightened and you are super smart, and it's it's like the best beer in the in the whole world, basically. So it's the mead is made from blood from a man who is mm-hmm. made of saliva. They put some honey in there too, but yeah. Oh, okay. Well, the, yeah, you got to put some honey in yeah, there. Yeah, you want to temper the acidity, uh, you know, of the, of the, the saliva the process. Blood. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This feels like a dude was just trying to sell his mead and made up a story. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, this mead? Oh, it's not normal mead. It's mead. A, we put a whole <laughs> guy in there. We put a whole guy in there, and not, not just, just any guy, guy though. <laughs> this guy, he's uh, made of god spit. Spit. <laughs> like looking around, saw someone spit. I was like, yeah, spit. God spit. It's di- it's different. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was really smart too when he was a guy. He was a guy. Did I mention that he was, he spit? But he's a guy. He's in there. He's in this. He's in this beer. And if you drink it, you'll get good at. What are you interested in? Uh, poetry. Oh, yeah, you'll get good at poetry. If you drink it. <laughs> but if not, you won't. So if not, you won't. It's your uh, up to you, really. Up to you. And everyone was like, "That seems legit." Uh, what? Ha- what would you? What happened? <laughs> where would he go? Yeah, where would he go? Where'd he's beautiful. Go? His, I, we're we're seeing all the different uh, facial expressions you can <laughs> you can get in the dating sim. Yeah, <laughs> I I see, I see. Okay, okay. This is how he looks when he realizes he's going to be murdered and turned into a beer. <laughs> so what? I'm gonna. You want to what? You you can seduce him, but you can also um, trick him and eat him and eat and drink. We'll drink. Mm-hmm. He's a he's a drink. Mm-hmm. Tristan, I got a, I got a question yeah, for you. Yeah, yeah, please. How are you gonna trick him if he's the smartest dude in the whole world? Um, there's a difference between knowledge and wisdom, I guess. I don't know. Book smarts, street smarts. So you're saying he's the most? He's a nerd. Yeah, <laughs> he's a big nerd. <laughs> he's definitely nerd. You know what he reminds me of? You ever see that episode of Futurama with a bunch of like the liquid people? Yeah, yeah where Fry drinks the um, exactly. The king. Exactly. This is the king that you drink. <laughs> This is the king that you drink. I imagine he looked like in those Capri Sun commercials where the kids drink the Capri Sun and then turn into like <laughs> liquid. It's mm-hmm. awful. <laughs> I imagine this is that's what he looks like. Those body horror ass 90s yeah, commercials. They turn into like Alex Mack silver goo. Sure. Right. That that sounds right. Yeah. I've talked about this before, I think, but Capri Sun and Gushers ads scared the crap out of me. When I was a child. Gushers. 
Yeah, their your whole head turns into a fruit. <laughs> oh, oh right. that's right. Yeah, it's like the it's like the Simpsons, like you know your donut head. Yeah. With one line, I turned this into a drippy Ben Franklin. Yeah, you did. <laughs> you <laughs> fully did. What a transformation! It does look like we've walked in on him on the on the toilet. Yeah, that's a he's got a real <laughs> toilet squat. He's, that is some stool we're seeing right there, so that makes sense. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Oh, I said I'd be out in a minute. The lock doesn't work. Maybe this is how they tricked him. <laughs> this, is, this is one of his famous air baths that he used to take. <laughs> how do wow. we? How do we get here? Some real, some real filthy drawings on this episode. <laughs> They're delightful. This is good. Julia's so good at drawing drips. Yeah. Like thick, viscous drips. Yeah, these Julia's are the master. These are sticky. These aren't just gonna wipe up with some paper towels. No, these these are glops. Gloops. I learned this from Ghibli, but Ghibli uses it in like a pleasant way, you know, to make like cooking oil look really like yeah, you know, special. And mm. I'm just like, ooh, yeah, that's cool. I want to learn how to do that so that I can draw. A spit man, eventually. <laughs> Miyazaki, it's all your fault. Blame Miyazaki. Let's p- pop up a quote of Miyazaki saying, drop you was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he did say that. It's on that, it's on that meme. Uh, it's on, yeah. Well, all right. He did say it. <laughs> he was right to say it. The different facial expressions this drawing has had. Yeah, I really, the progression. I've, I've. I didn't know which one I wanted to land on, but I think I think we got there. Well, it really feels like he was so confident and cool, and then someone walked in on him while he was pooping, and <laughs> he's been getting increasingly distressed. It's yeah. Just a box. <laughs> yeah, he shits in a box. What does his poop look like? The same. It's just the gloop. It's just, it's just gloop. More. So he's pooping all over the floor right now. He's glo- he's glooping. He's glooping. glooping. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe he just wanted some time for himself, and that's why he comes in here. It's a number zero. A number zero. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, instead of a number one or a he number two. He doesn't go number zero. one or two. He only goes zero. I'd be more worried about number three. Number zero sounds like a burp or like a fart, you know? Yeah. That's true. Number three, we can't even imagine yet. <laughs> We're not there yet. Oh, yeah. So shiny. What's that? Two hairs. Great. <laughs> That's what I wanted. It was a couple hairs on him. Well, yeah. He does have eyebrows. A... So I guess. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Julia, this um, is a very good drawing. <laughs> Thanks. I can't wait to see the render. He's uh, reading about math. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Just catching up on my math. <laughs> I mean, it's ancient Norse times. There's probably yeah, one book about math, and it's yeah. called math. There's like new math happening all the time. They don't even have calculus yet. Yeah. Math is just counting. It was probably exciting. He's like, oh, what's what's next in in math? <laughs> oh, five comes after four. Mm. Wow. Mm. What are they going to think of next? Seven, eight, nine? Oh, I've got to <laughs> write this down. <laughs> I can't wait for next month's issue of math. So you can't, you can't keep adding gloop. You, you know I want to, though. Can't. Yeah, there's an, we have enough. <laughs> we have gloop at home. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> All right. Here's uh here's my snot poet. Wow. Love it. I think he might just be a guy. He is just a guy. I I made it clear from the get go that he was just a man. I didn't hear that part. <laughs> I heard snot and blanked out. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. I heard snot poetry. <laughs> Saliva. Mm-hmm. We'd saliva saliva poet. poetry. No yeah, one you, said snot. No one said snot. What? You, you said snot. <laughs> Is this a snot monster? <laughs> I think I drew a cryptid, not a Norse god. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this is what happened to him after he got turned into mead. Yeah. If we keep repeating the legend of uh, uh, of this snot god, then it'll become true. And someday, yeah. someone on the future internet We'll do a drawing of of uh, Snot God, and it'll be completely different. And then 
the world will keep going. It's a living myth. Yeah. A living legend. This is the new Slender Man. <laughs> Whether you like it or not. <laughs> so this it's a Slender Man just wants to be left alone. But yeah. He keeps, keeps trying to poop, but it just like people just keep on barging in. Yeah. If you go to the bathroom at 12.03 at night, you will see Snot Monster. Don't tell anyone how I live. <laughs> It glorps back into the toilet. <laughs> just flushes itself. Yeah. You feel wildly embarrassed afterwards. You're just like, oh, God, you won't believe what just happened. I don't even want to talk about it, actually. <laughs> wow. Well, you all did a, a fantastic job uh, recreating exactly these historical figures. So I, I, I think appreciate we did that. it justice. Yeah. Truly an episode of legend. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, Tristan and Lore Librarian, thank you both so much for joining us here on the program, uh, sharing your, your wonderful, wonderful, one, oh my God. Wonderful. <laughs> wonderful knowledge. Thank you for sharing your wonderful knowledge. <laughs> I have to go now. Uh, <laughs> leave a suggestion of what you want to see us draw next time. Uh, other guests you would like to have us on, have have on, <laughs> have us have on. Nathan, this is your worst wow. outro ever. Nathan. I'm really, I, it's before my normal wake up time that we're recording this. And it's the afternoon. Clock. Yeah. Uh, Tristan, where can we find you on the internet? Yes. Um, you can find me uh, mostly these days on Twitter at Tristan A. Cooper. Uh, I also run a Twitter account about dogs and video games called Can You Pet the Dog? Uh, you can follow me there too if you want. You should do it. It's wonderful. And thank you, of course, to our Patreon supporters. If you like what we do, you can support us on Patreon as well. Or just, you know, hit the like, subscribe, bell, all those ones. We love it. We love those those numbers going up. Uh, this little piggy said, <laughs> "We're sorry. <laughs> We're sorry. This little piggy did not. <laughs> sorry. 